Mark Rudy joins us. And Mark, good to have you here. Uh, you're the follow-up ministry representative for Crossroads. Tell me what that all involves. Well, this is a, a role that uh, actually got expanded. Uh, Pastor Neil has been doing it for the last number of years, and uh, he was getting overwhelmed. And uh, he and I had been praying about working together, and uh, God made a way for me to join him. And uh, we have seen such a huge increase in the number of people uh, uh, coming to faith for the first time or rededicating their lives again. And uh, so we follow up with those folks and spend some time getting to know them a little bit, uh, trying to resource them with uh, the resources we have, help them find a church if, if we can you know, find uh, churches in their area. And uh, now we have the email mentoring program which we can refer them to if they're interested. I mean, these are exciting times. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we're seeing record numbers of people, as you mentioned, uh, make a decision to follow Jesus or rededicate their lives to the Lord. Mm -hmm. These are the things that we've been praying for, mm -hmm. that we can reach more people with the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's happening. So as you mentioned, there's pressure now being put on, uh, you know, the infrastructure, so to speak, Absolutely. because of all these, because of the needs, really, Mark. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, there, there's a, 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 a backlog actually happening. Uh, that we didn't expect to see, and uh, we, we, uh, we've got uh, a lot of great people on the lines up there. We can use more, and uh, it's, it's a great problem to have. Now, we talk a lot, you know, about statistics, you know, 200 or more, 1,200 phone calls a day coming into the prayer line, 38,000 a month, but those each represent individual people. Maybe share a couple of stories, you know, so people that are that giving to this ministry know that it is making a big difference. Well, absolutely. Uh, actually, uh, one of them that kind of fits very well with what we're talking about today is a woman uh, who called uh, numerous times during a very short period of time. We do have folks that call over long periods of time. God doesn't always answer our prayers right away. Uh, and she was facing what seemed like an impossible situation. Uh, her husband had left, uh, had not paid the rent uh, for a number of months, and she was facing eviction. And uh, she was really without hope. And uh, it turned out the landlord had even turned on her and was not willing to uh, take any money from her. And so uh, it was a, a difficult situation and she was experiencing anger and I'm sure she had to deal with unforgiveness. Mm. And uh, when uh, she prayed with our prayer partners uh, over, I think it was over a couple of days, she called in numerous times. And uh, on two days left before the eviction was to be kicked in, she got a call from the landlord. Wow. The landlord said, I'm willing to, to let you stay. I can't put you out with your children. And uh, I'll take whatever money you can provide and we'll, we'll get this cleared up. And that's just one of many hundreds of phone calls that come in every day. Absolutely, yeah. And it's because of people that are supporting 100 Huntley Street, all we do at Crossroads. So, Mark, I know you work long hours. I know it's a labor of love for you and your team. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we so appreciate what you're doing. And we so appreciate what you're doing as well to keep this ministry strong. Mm -hmm. We want to expand. We don't want to go back anyway in, in anything that we're doing here at Crossroads. So, again, thank you for your giving. Thank you for Mark and his team. And now let's head over to Maggie and Cheryl.